Now in this last part then, we're told that it was discovered that a coin in the original sample, which was five years old, weighed 20 grams and it was a fake. And we've got to state then without any further calculations whether the exclusion of this coin would increase or decrease the value of the product moment correlation coefficient and give a reason for our answer. Well, in an earlier part, E part 1, we found out that if a coin was 5 years old, we would expect the weight to be approximately 11.5 grams. That was the result we got roughly when we put 5 into here. Now we've got a coin that's 5 years old, it's 20 grams weight. Okay, so let's say it's up there. So when we worked out the product moment correlation coefficient for this, it's going to be a negative value, okay, as we worked out. But if we remove it, we now end up with fewer points, one less, but closer to this line. So therefore, if they were on the line, being a negative gradient here, the, co the product moment correlation coefficient would be minus one. So we can't expect it to be minus one, but it's certainly going to get closer to minus one. So if we remove that coin then, there's going to be a decrease. Removing the fake will result in a better linear fit, so R will be closer to minus one. Okay, so that's giving you an idea how to answer that question, and uh, that brings us now to the end of the whole question, right?